Hey everyone, this is Shannon with Smoke in the Wild. On this hot tip, I'm gonna share something with you that will help you no matter what brand of smoke or grill you're using when starting your fire. All right, it doesn't matter what brand of grill or smoker that you're using. Now I'm talking about using charcoal. If you're a person that loves to cook on a gas grill, hey, at least you're cooking and grilling. I prefer a hasty bake, but it doesn't matter what brand you're using of smoker or grill, what you do from the time you light that fire to when you put it on the plate, how you season it and how you start the fire definitely affects the taste of the meat. Now, a long time ago, before I discovered this product, I used charcoal lighter to get my charcoal going. And I didn't really know any better, but now that I know better, I can taste charcoal lighter fluid in meat if, if somebody's using it, whether it be in a restaurant or at somebody's house. It's a petroleum product and it does leach into the meat and has a very distinctive smell. Now, if that's something that doesn't bother you, then no, re no reason to keep watching. But if you want to make the meat that you're grilling and smoking taste better, it starts at the fire. First of all, I love using real hardwood charcoal along with different smoking woods, but I also use the Hasty Bake Fire Starter Gel. It's easy, it's inexpensive. This bottle is 10 bucks, all right? And it lasts me forever. And I'm gonna show you in just a minute on how to use it, how easy it is to use and get a great fire in your charcoal grill or smoker started with just a, just a little bit of this. Today, I'm going to be smoking a pork butt, which we'll get into a different episode, but I wanna take you out to the Hasty Bake and show you exactly how to get a fire started very quickly, get it up to tip very quickly using this Hasty Bake Fire Starter Gel. All right, as you can see, I've got my fire box already loaded up. I've got real hardwood charcoal. I've got some competition for cats in there as well. I've got a mixture of pecan wood and some apple wood. All right, so I've got the fire box loaded up. It's real easy. I pull out my ash pan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a dollop of this fire starter gel right there. That's all you need. You light it, get it started. And then you're simply just going to put it underneath the briquettes lower your firebox, and that's it. I want you to see how fast that got up to flame. It took just a minute or two, and it won't be long. And that charcoal and wood is gonna be ready to go. It's just been, it's been about 10 minutes. This, is, this Hasty Bake is ready to close up to get the heat. It'll take just, a, just about two minutes for it to get up to temperature, and we're ready to go. It's that easy. Well, you saw it for yourself how easy it was to get that fire going. Yeah, it's obvious. I'm a huge Hasty Bake fan. I cook on mine four to five to six times a week, but no matter what charcoal grill you're using, if it's not a Hasty Bake, I still recommend you using this fire starter gel. It does not leach odors, petroleum odors and flavors into your meat like charcoal lighter fluid does. I highly recommend you look in, try it. Once you try it, you won't look back. If you're in the Tulsa area, it's available at the Tulsa Grill Store. It's available at most of the Reesers, if not all of the Reesers grocery stores. You can also order it online. This $10 bottle lasts me a long time and the results speak for themselves. So I encourage you to pick up a bottle for yourself.